now we'll take a look at how the decorator pattern works in overview and you see how the, the problem was you had a computer class with a description it said you're getting a computer and that was then changed to computer class was then changed to have a description method that said you're getting a computer and a disk and then you had to edit the computer classes description method once again to say you're getting a computer and a disk and a, and a monitor and so forth I can go on forever and so the decorator pattern comes into play here the idea is that you start off with the computer class and its description method the description method is quite simple in this case you just say you're getting a computer and what happens when you want to change that to add for example add a disk you can then pass the computer object to a disk wrapper and the disk wrapper is going to have its own description method that description method is going to add the text and a disk to the description method the description methods return value from the computer class so this description method is going to say you're going to get you're getting a computer this description method calls that description method and adds to the end of the text and a disk. So you see the idea here. The decorator pattern adds a wrapper class. And so what you do is you, you call, you have a computer object, you pass a computer object. If you want to add, for example, a disk to the person's computer setup, you pass that computer object to a disk object. The disk object acts as a wrapper and in the description class, description method, it calls the computer class's description method, which returns you're getting a computer and adds to it and a disk. So that's the way the decorator pattern works. And once again, you can also, if you like, add a, another level. You can pass the disk object, which now encloses the computer object, now wraps the computer object. You can pass the disk object to a monitor object, which is going to act as a further wrapper, have its own description. So the monitor object is going to call, is going to support a description method that will call the disk description method, and the disk description method in turn will call the computer description method. So this computer method, computer description method is going to return, you're getting a computer. This is going to append to that text, you're getting a computer append to that text, and a disk, this further wrapper is going to then append to that text and a monitor. So you're going to get, you're getting a computer from this description method and a disk from this description method and a monitor from that description method. So you see that's the essence of the decorator pattern. What the idea is quite simple. It allows you to add functionality to various methods by supporting wrapper classes without having to modify or edit your code. So in this way you can put together your computer system just by passing the computer object to various wrapper classes which add functionality to that class. Classes description method in this case. So that's the essence of the decorator pattern. It allows you to use a set of wrappers to customize or decorate as it's, as it's called the functionality from an original class. So let's see this at work in terms of code coming up next.